Hi, I'm Lewis, and this is the story of how I helped the police catch some serial robbers. So, it all started when my folks took away my Xbox and grounded me for three weeks. I wasn't allowed to play video games or hang out with friends. They expected me to study non-stop because I was failing almost everything at school, except maybe English. And, as if on purpose, they did it literally right before the new Assassin's Creed game was released. It was a bummer, but nothing could have stopped me from my favorite thing in the world. So, naturally, I turned to my best buddy, Stanley, for help. And as always, he didn't disappoint. Not only did he have the game, but he was also sick, so his parents let him stay at home for a couple of days. Everything was aligning perfectly. Or so I thought. So that day, I rode my bike to Stanley's house. I was in a hurry anticipating some high-grade game time, when all of a sudden I heard gunshots and screaming. I saw several people running out of a pawn shop that was right in front of me. Luckily for me, there was a dumpster nearby where I could hide. From there, I could see them better. They looked like typical robbers with face masks, guns, and everything. They were trying to keep money inside of their bags, but some of it fell on the ground anyway. They were obviously panicking, and I could strongly relate to that. I barely even noticed the car they were currently getting into. I couldn't see it clearly from my spot, so I fished out my phone and tried to film them. The robbers had almost left when I was finally able to capture their car. It was just a 15-second video, but I hoped it would at least give a decent view of the car. After that, I went straight to Stanley's house. I wasn't sure if the robbers noticed me or not, but I wasn't risking it. I told him everything and showed him the video. It was good enough to see the car plate number. We had completely forgotten about the game. We talked for hours and still couldn't decide if we should tell somebody about it or not. Finally, we decided that there were probably surveillance cameras around and the police could do without me or my recording. We also didn't want our parents to find out and go berserk about the whole thing. Three weeks went by and my grounding ended, but it was just the start of my suffering. The robbery seemed to be the only thing people were talking about. Wherever I went, I heard something new about it and every time it made me feel like a complete jerk. The police still didn't have any leads and asked for witnesses to come forward with any information. The pawn shop's owner, Mr. Stevenson, was shot, and his wife had a heart attack. Both of them were still in the hospital. They also said that this wasn't the first robbery, and the police had been after them for several months already. After a long battle with my conscience, I finally decided that I needed to tell the police about the video and the car. The only catch was to figure out how to do that without getting in some serious trouble. So, as always, I went to my most trusted advisor, Stanley. And this time, my buddy didn't let me down either. So, the plan was to send the video to the police from a library computer. They would know it was done by someone using a school account, but not who did it. Then the problem would be solved. Robbers would be in prison, and I would be the nameless hero of the day. So I went to the library and started Googling which email account I could use to send the video. At that moment, I felt the spooky presence of our school librarian, Mrs. Mullins. When she asked me what I was researching, my mind went blank. I didn't come up with a proper lie beforehand, so I said the only thing I could think about. The pawn shop's robbery. That was a huge mistake, because then she bombarded me with questions. I was panicking, and it probably showed because she asked me if I was alright. It's just so horrible what happened, you know? The robbery. Poor Mr. Stevenson and his wife. Awful. It's just so awful. It makes me so scared that they haven't caught the robbers yet. What if they rob the school, huh? Or the library? Have you thought about that possibility? N knowledge is power, right? And the robbers, they want it? I, I couldn't stop talking about nonsense to save my life. I was just saying random stuff, hoping she would believe me and leave me alone. I was sure she didn't, but she left me to do my research anyway. So I quickly drafted the letter, attached the video, and signed it anonymous. Then I snuck out of the library to avoid another interrogation and went home. Only, once I got there, I remembered I didn't close the Word file with the draft of the letter in it. Now anyone could see it. The plan was perfect. How could I have messed it up so badly? But it was too late to change anything. The library was closed, and now I had to wait until Monday. On Monday, the police were at the school, and when classes ended, I was sent to the principal's office. My parents were there, and they didn't look very happy with me. I was ready to say my last goodbyes to my beloved Xbox and accept my eternity of suffering without it. It turned out that the police had not only tracked down the school, but they also checked everyone who used the library computers that day and found out I was using the one with the open draft letter in it. They said I wasn't in any trouble, and they just wanted to thank me for doing the right thing. Well, I wasn't in any trouble with the police. Like I cared. I was in trouble with my mom!
I was afraid that she was going to kill me slowly and painfully, or worse. She was going to ground me for the rest of the year like she promised she would. But instead, she said that she was very proud of me for being so brave and selfless. Though at home, she told me she would definitely ground me anyway, if only Mrs. Mullins didn't talk her out of it. So, in the end, the problem was solved, robbers were in prison, and nobody was grounded that day. Well, I hope you guys liked my story. I was 12 at the time, so please don't judge my intelligence, okay? What would you do in my place? Tell me about it in the comments. Also, like and subscribe to the channel. They said I have to tell you to do that, so yeah.